Hello and welcome everyone to our next module on Node.js in the series of Get Up and Start Running. Now today we will be discussing about Express.js. Now this is the first module which we will be going into detail and, and in it the first of the session which we will be dealing with. So first of all let's go and see go to its website. Nothing just to give an information just try Express.js. So this is the official website of Express.js and what does it say? Now this is a, a very fast unopinionated minimalist web framework for Node.js. Now this framework is one of the most commonly used framework such that in the mean stack M-E-A-N we have a place for it where E suggests for Express.js because it helps us to manage all the web server, create the APIs, boost the performance and also create some sort of security through middlewares. So this framework is very easy for us to manage our server, to create the server, to create request, to handle request in a very efficient way without writing any of the complex internal node code. So let's begin using it and see what all can we do with a node code. We have already created the, a web server in our previous session. We will continue from there. What we This was our code, what it did. We, did, uh, we initialized an HTTP internal module. We created the server, told, uh, told how it should handle the request, what to print the, at the response, what to send as a response, and where at which port it should start listening. So it was listening at port number 3000 and as soon as it started listening, it was it printed the message server started at port number 3000. So we'll continue with it. What we'll do first of all, before beginning with Express in our application that is making use of Express in our application, we'll first of all install it. So let's go to the command prompt and to the directory of your application. So we are in this code directory. Let's say what all files we have. We just have the server.js. Clear the screen. Now what we need to do is simply press npm install as I have all, uh, already told you all how to install any external package and give the name of the package which is express. So it will download and install the latest version of this particular express package. And then we have this command like dash dash save. If we have a package.json file over here, the this entry of dependent module will get added into that package.json. I highly recommend that whenever you are creating an actual application, even if you're in your local, you uh, do an npm in it to initialize the package.json on behalf for you so that any package that you add after that makes an entry in package.json and managing package becomes really, really easy for you. So we don't have dash uh, package.json, we don't do dash dash c. We'll just do an install. So what it will do, it will contact the central repository npmgs.com it will contact download the contents of express the latest version and put it into the node underscore module of the root folder see these are all the things these are, these are all the dependent packages which express itself dependent upon the, those what is called we'll create the string now we are free to use express in our application so our, our application starting point is server.js what we'll do we'll create a variable as we all always do to include a package say that we require this particular package the name is express if we had it installed it would have given error over here because it could not find express in node underscore modules so whenever we provide a module name over here first it sees whether it's a, 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 a internal module like http or fs file system if not it will try to look under node underscore modules so if it's not present, it will throw an error that express is not present, but we have already installed, so it's present. And now what we'll do, we'll have an, a variable that will instantiate express for our use. That's just one time thing. So we'll instantiate like just like constructor calling express. And now what we want to do is while creating the server where we were passing uh, what we want to pass as response, how to handle request, no need to do that just pass our app 
So this is a one of our clean code and with the rest remain same that is release and at port number 3000 and all. So this is one clean code of how we have done it. So simply now we I want to create a first get request and how to do that we'll use our app and we'll do a get. So this is uh, we want the root just like last time. Okay so before doing it let's try running it first. Just one time just to show is it working or not. Node server and yes it's running. Go to our uh, browser and type localhost 3000. Now see now express is attached to it so it will give some custom errors like it cannot get root folder slash because we haven't defined over there. Uh, what was happening earlier it was just going on and on and on searching was uh, for any request to be handled and send as a response. What we'll do we'll create a get for root and root is slash and we'll do a callback function it will accept as we had already shown any request will be handled by res comma req comma res request and response what we want to do is in earlier code we were saying res dot write and then res dot end we were using two statements now those two have been combined into one over here which is called send that's it send hello express that's it save it again restart the application for the changes to take effect go to the browser and refresh it yes we got the result hello express now we can do a lot of other things here like uh, uh, let's copy this one and say we are passing we have another root say that slash name and what it will do is that whatever is getting passed after name it will get printed now this is one variable this is a parameter that is get that will get passed so anything slash name slash my name so it should print a say a hello to it and how do we request it because it's coming from request so req dot params parameters dot name now this name should be equal to this one because this is colon name so it's a parameter so it will just send this particular whenever there is a slash name restart express is fine now we have a custom root and that root is name slash say vivek it's saying hello vivek now we don't pass anything it won't because it requires a variable over here this root is not defined now this variable is should be there Similarly, we can do uh, a lot of say star. Now, what is star? We can use wildcards over here. So, what does wildcard do is not necessarily name. It can be. I'll just re restart the server. What it will do is that not only name, it can be anything like say my name or any string that is succeeded by the last four letters N A N E. So, it will. It should print. Yes, it's working. And that's how it should. So this is how we create custom API endpoints, custom API routes through this. And while passing, we can also have it as a JSON like this Hello Express over here. If we just delete it. Hello Express coming as a text over here. We want to send it as a JSON. Just six. That's it. JSON simple we'll restart a server and we'll see hello express as a json value that is within parentheses within, within quotes uh, it can be a proper json value which you want to pass so we have to frame that particular json and then we can get it from a database say a lot of values and then finally response.json will send it back to the client now we can also have here uh, a lot of custom like say there is an admin page that you want others to uh, check. So what you want to do whenever there is an admin, whenever there is an admin it will send a status back. Now we can have customer status over there. By default the status is 200 which is okay but we can have status over like 403. 
So res dot status four not three. We can see if it is a forbidden status. Restart it, and uh, we can have like admin. Oh, one minute. We need to have a send also over here. Just any blank send will be okay. Restart it. Okay, so access to localhost was denied. This is a forbidden authorization message. So we can do a lot of these things, a lot of these uh, API endpoints gets these through app and it becomes really easy for us to do it, to manage the endpoints, to manage the APIs, to get the values of APIs. Now, if there is a query string over here, like say, for example, we are passing something in the URL, then we can make use of req dot uh, query dot name. So if name is getting passed through query, let's say for this particular example, we'll restart it first. Now, what I'm doing is why I'm passing name and I'm passing wait. It's passing undefined because it's not getting the value of. Uh, we are not passing anything as query parameter. Now pass name as Vivek. See the V is capital over there, and this it will get printed. Hello Vivek. So this is how we access the query parameters. So that's it for uh, endpoints, API endpoints, how to create with Express. Next, we'll discuss upon how to do and discuss the middlewares. Thank you. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.